Well, the Trump administration unveiled the basics of its latest legislative project today, a major overhaul of the U.S. tax code. Secretary of the Treasury Steve Mnuchin pitched the plan as the biggest tax cut in U.S. history. It would drop the top income tax bracket to 35 percent from 39 point something, slash the corporate tax rate to 15, and totally eliminate the estate tax and the alternative minimum tax. The plan does not offset these cuts with spending cuts, meaning it would cause a rise in the federal budget deficit. Does this plan deserve to pass? Is it wise? The Secretary of the Treasury, Steve Mnuchin, joins us tonight. Mr. Secretary, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So here. during the um, during the campaign, the now president talked a lot about taxes, and he said this in May, and I'll never forget when he did. He said, under my plan that he had unveiled that day, actually, taxes on the rich are going down, but by the time it's negotiated, they'll go up. Do you anticipate that happening? Well, let me just say, this is all about creating jobs and yes. growing the economy. And on the personal side, this is about tax simplification and about limiting deductions. So right. although the rate is coming down on the top end to 35 percent, there will be many, many deductions gone. Matter of fact, we're taking all deductions out other than mortgage interest and charitable donations. And so effectively, the effective tax rate will not be a reduction for the rich. Will it be a rise? We'll see. I don't think it'll be a rise, but it won't, won't be a reduction. But so, this is about creating jobs. So if you're making, say, pick a number, 500 grand a year, do you see your tax rate move at all, effectively? I, I think, you know, we'll have to run all the numbers when we come out with the brackets and everything else. But this is really about a middle income tax cut. Okay. And this is about lowering business taxes. We need to make businesses competitive in the United States. We have the most uncompetitive system. We have high business rates. We tax on worldwide income. This is all about changing that. This is about massive reductions in business rates for corporations and for small businesses. And many studies show that 70% of the tax burden falls on American workers. So by cutting business taxes, this will increase wages for American workers and create more jobs. So what, just to take a, one snapshot, let's say a family of four making 70 grand a year, which is not atypical. What happens to that family? They're, they're going to have a middle income tax cut. That, how much that do is, you think? You know, the numbers, again, we're working with Congress, we're working closely with the House and the Senate on all the details. So we went out with the principles today. I think we have broad agreement on the principles, on the personal side, cut down the number of brackets, simplify this, get rid of deductions, make middle income tax cuts, and make business competitive. So the president on the campaign trail was not kind of classic Reaganite on economics at all. He was a populist, and he went after the hedge funds and the private equity guys again and again. And he specifically mentioned the carried interest loophole, which allows private equity people to be paid at the tax rate on investments rather than on income, half the rate. Do you plan to take that loophole out? The president is committed on hedge funds to get rid of carried interest. That's something he talked about on the campaign, and that's something we'll follow through on. Is anyone against it? Again, not on hedge funds. This is something that is the present it, we're going to make happen. Okay, so I think the flip side to a lot of this is the feeling in the middle of the country that a small number of people profited uh, in a huge way over the last 10 years. Um, and will this tax plan at the end, can you hold it up and say those people will be paying more? As the president said, they would. Well, let me just say again, you know, I've been had the pleasure to work with the president for the last year on the campaign yep. on his economic policies both the Detroit speech he did, the New York speech. This is a continuation. We've been working for the last several months since he's been in office, and he is determined to pass massive tax reform and massive tax cuts that will put people back to work and will create U.S. jobs. We're going to bring back trillions of dollars that are sitting offshore by having a one-time tax and going to a territorial system and making U.S. businesses the most competitive in the world. The idea in Congress for a long time has been that you would take that money offshore when it comes back to the United States and put it in some kind of infrastructure pool. Is that part of this well, idea? Well, that's one of the things we'll look at. I mean, infrastructure is going to be done separate than tax reform, uh -huh. but the president, you know, is committed to a trillion dollar infrastructure program as well. Need to rebuild America. Roads, bridges, critical infrastructure, and that's something he's very committed to as well. So you're going to want to get Democratic support for this, of course. What would be your five-sentence pitch to a moderate extent they still exist, Democrat in the House. I mean, I, I would hope they support this because this is all about middle-income tax cuts and putting people back to work and making business competitive. So we hope that there are Democrats that cross the aisle and support this. This is good for America, good for the economy. The president is determined that we will get back 
to 3% or more sustained economic growth. Yes. And that creates enormous opportunities. For the last eight years, growth has been too low, 1.6, 1.8. Right. And he's focused on whether it's the trade policies, whether it's regulatory relief, whether it's the tax plan. This is all part of the president's economic proposal to create growth in this country. So finally and quickly, what's the timetable? When's this going to happen? We're going to do this fast. So, you know, we, we are meeting every week with the House and the Senate. We are determined to pass this. We want to get this done this Before year. summer? I think it may be tough to get it passed before summer, right. but this is something we're working on and we're going to get done as quickly as we can, and we want to pass this year. Mr. Secretary, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for it. having me. Thank you.